I am not settling anymore. I am, what is it? I, I know my worth and I am not settling for anything but the best life has to offer. I am a queen. I am the full package. I don't know why these men, like, no, no you're not. You are 33, you're a divorced single mom, and the man you want doesn't want you anymore. And you can't stand it that you pissed away your best years with men that chads that never were going to be what the man you wanted them to be. And now you can't get the man you want because he's going for younger and more attractive women. Let me make something perfectly clear to you. I do not need a man. I don't need a man. I want one. I think is I don't really need a man. I just want one. 50 years old, single, I'm dating, found nothing but lying. Very confusing because I am a freaking delight. Maybe I'm being picky or maybe I just have standards. I have an incredible career. I am truly living my best life. And so the man that is going to come into this life is going to have something of value to offer me. He's going to make this great life greater. I'm oftentimes asked why I do this. And sometimes it's hard to give an answer, um, a, a perfectly straight answer that is, because there's multiple reasons why I do this. But I suppose the main one is out of my love for women, my hate to see people suffering and my duty to at least attempt to try to make the world a better place. If I can just, if my message can get through to one female and recognizes like, wow, I'm really on that path. If I don't change things, um, just one, then I have successfully done my job. And uh, of course, I hope to affect many more than that but but if just one woman gets this message it, it will be worth it some modern women that are truly suffering and instead of um telling their story and passing on that that good advice to younger women that to so that they don't make the same mistakes they encourage them to make the same mistakes most of the time it, it just seems to be among female nature that they misery loves company and they seem to just uh, kind of guide each other down that same path. Even mothers, I, I've seen mothers even lead their daughters astray to take them down the same path that they went that screwed up their life. And it's ridiculous and I try my best to do what I can um, to, to try to change the, this dating dynamic. The dating dynamic is wrecked and I don't know where it's going, you guys. Um, women don't need men anymore. Men don't need women anymore. Um, the relationship's dead. The family's dead. Women are walking away from their families left and right. Um, for men that are a little bit cuter, have a little bit more money, have a little bit more status. They're blowing up perfectly good relationships. And then regretting it 10 years later. That's the dynamic that's happening right now. So it, it, the dynamic is wrecked. There's an epidemic among women. It's literally manifested itself into this phenomenon we call the wall or the danger zone or, or whatever the case is. Shin Yu in, in China, leftover women. Uh, there, there, there are multiple names for it, but essentially you are on the clearance rack. If you are 30 and above, even 28, 28 and above woman, you are officially on the clearance rack and you need to recognize this and try to hold down the man that you want while you're still young and pretty because if you wait until you're 33 and competing with younger 21 year olds you are effed when it comes to getting that man of your dreams that you talk about and that's why i do what i do so let's take a look at this video. This is from JBE Capital Channel. Uh, he talks about the same things I talk about. The big lies that modern women have been sold, uh, the wall, the danger zone, and how it's affecting older women. 
how women do not tell the truth to each other. You guys rather encourage the BS with each other. And yeah, so this is why I do what I do. Let's take a look, you guys. Which is simply that men prefer younger women, while women prefer older men. This is why women have it so easy when they are young and can literally pick any guy they want. However, if they spend that time playing games thinking that the party will last well into their 30s and 40s, they will eventually get to a point where the balance of power shifts and men of their own age that they want to date are now dating younger women and they will only date older women for some short-term bedroom fun. Trying to literally save some of you women. I am trying to get you to understand that if you're 25, 30 years old, your best years are not ahead of you. You have been lied to. You are going to find that dating gets much harder for a woman the older she gets. When it comes to dating after divorce, I just want to tell you, you have so much leverage and so many options I can't even tell you. Wait till you hit 30 and you find that older men that are successful with status and they don't want you anymore. They want a 26 year old childless, um, you know, feminine woman. They don't want an independent 33 year old queen. This is why I get you guys, I'm trying to get you guys to understand. So I am literally trying to save some of you guys. That's as you get older as a woman, which is that it will become much, much more difficult than you are used to, and that if you don't stay in shape, eat healthy, and offer kindness and loyalty as actual valuable traits, instead of a long list of demands like some sort of dating terrorist, then no guy is ever going to be interested in you long term. There are so many unhappy, horribly unhappy women, but then they'll turn around and give horrible advice to the next woman so that she goes and makes the same ignorant mistakes broken single women giving terrible advice to others who then become broken as well and will join them into giving more terrible advice to more women and sell more lies about the joys of dating as they get older no girl i'm telling you he got like mad and he yelled at those when he yelled at those dogs they were scared oh you ought to divorce him immediately that dude, he he did what to those dogs? Yeah, you need to divorce him. Girl, let me tell you, you're 30. Your best years are still in front of you. So much time to find a partner. No, you don't. You are totally wrong. Do not listen to that girl. She is a fraud and she is part of the problem. She's the reason why 90% of you women believe this. You believe that you're the exception to the rule and you're the one person that's going to get everything you ever wanted in life out of a man. You're going to find the perfect dream man when you're 33 and a single mom. No, you probably wrecked your whole life. You should have probably stayed with the man that you had kids with um, because he's probably married and happy right now with some other lady that is actually normal so far the series has taught me that if a woman so much as even implies that her man made a mistake the internet will collectively tell her to dump him and that she's settling but as it turns out even when a woman is trying to speak highly of her man you still tell her the same thing and this bare minimum thing has gone way too far this trend of bare minimum is getting ridiculous I can't even post a tiktok anymore appreciating my partner without people commenting that it's the bare minimum or i have low standards i literally hate this mindset so much a man cooking, cleaning, looking after the kids is bare minimum. If my partner ever came home after I've cleaned the house all day, cooked a meal, and looked after the children, and he said bare minimum, I'd be screaming the house down. Apparently, if anything in life makes you cry, it is your man's fault, and you need to leave him immediately. And, man, there's just so many problems in the dating world right now. Like, the dating game is so wrecked. You ladies don't tell each other the truth. You don't even... Uh, you don't give each other advice. You would rather uh, suffer in misery and silence than um, give positive advice and positive feedback and tell the next woman like, no, listen, I made all those mistakes. 
this is what you need to do not to make those mistakes. Hurting, and it took him about 30 seconds to try and get his virtual hands down my virtual pants. Come on, ask me about my kids or my life or my musical still, whatever. Just not that, not so quickly. Say they want a relationship and they don't. They just want options. Now many of the women experiencing the wall will turn to anger and frustration. And you'll need a little blue pill to get it up. And your bald head. I am baffled the fact that I'm single. I am the full package. Like, let's face it, we're over 40. I'm 47 now. Like. I just want to go and enjoy the next 50 years with someone. The wall is a real thing, It's and it's serious, and it's sad, and it's really terrible to see this, to see these women in their 30s whining and cry, literally crying that men have just been playing them and using and pumping and dumping them left and right. Men that they thought they were going to have lifelong relationships with are leaving them, are leaving them for younger women. Women are finding out in their 30s that dating in their 30s is totally different than dating when they were 21, when they were the most pure and, and feminine and beautiful that they were ever going to be. I was 35 and I thought, do you know what, at 35, he was probably 32, I think. But we were young enough to start again, so I thought, this is the best time, we need to do it now. Um, so we split and at first it was exciting. He's actually gone off, he's got a new wife and, you know, he's living the life that maybe I wanted, if I'm honest. The point is, you ladies are lying to each other. You've been sold a lie. Consumerism has been selling you lies for the last 25 years to get you to buy products and, and fall in line with their, their way of thinking. And, and um, you guys, that anybody that don't get this message and don't hear the truth, don't or not willing to accept the truth, are in for a long ride of horrible relationships horrible uh like you're you're never going to find happiness essentially until you let go of this mindset that you can have it all that you somehow deserve because of your worth that you you somehow deserve the the highest caliber of man that the planet has to offer and when the reality is you're average at best so the point is you should be looking to date someone else that's average like you i texted him again saying hey are we gonna hang out and nothing and it was i would say painful but that wasn't the right word i was living in a sea of pain Super, super fun. <laughs> I had no more heart to break. Bumble's morning. And he's deleted his account. What is going on in this world? Absolutely his loss. If you're average, you don't get the top upper echelon. Of stuff. That's like in movies and uh, like rarely, rarely, rarely happens. You know, this is... Um, but yeah, you guys will tell each other, nah, girl, you go ahead, divorce your husband for some some silly reason, and because dating is fun in your 30s. I got news for you ladies, it is not. Like, there are men, like, there are men that will not accept a woman over 30, period. If they're in their prime, they're gonna look for a woman in her prime also. I think when you're single for a long time, you really, really want it to be true. You want someone to be the one. You want you want it to end. You want to get off this merry friggin' go round. I've never had this amount of struggle in dating in my life. Do you know what I mean? I I've had long-term relationships before I was single for this big period. Which is like what, 21 to 27 for a woman. So why would a man in his prime go date a woman that's past it? Like, you guys need to recognize 25, the host show's over. It is time to get serious 
about trying to find the man of your dreams and 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 settle down with him which i even hate that word but yeah if not wait till you're 30 and risk risk hitting the wall head on and risk being you know single and childless and and alone in your 50s like because you pissed away your 30s when you should have been making babies and having a family and uh creating a life building foundation brick by brick with a partner um is what you should have been doing but instead you were out clubbing listening to your girls that are telling you to keep a roster with a couple simps in your pocket and cash ca- get cash from this guy while you're you know really interested in this guy and date a couple guys at the same time no you guys have been listening to her for too long you guys need to hear the truth now finding that person that will give me nothing but the best because i deserve that. just men i'd ever lose my eyes on came up and talked to me and we had this whirlwind romance that was across the country until the point where he said that he never meant anything that he said to me and everything was a complete lie and he says that to all the girls. So number one, I think it's really important to have an older gentleman on your roster. Is the bar that low? Men, do better. Yes, you guys did see that right. That was the same girl that just said, keep an older gentleman on your roster which is another way of saying, keep three or four dudes at the, at one time. Turn right around and say, men do better. No, women like you are the problem, lady. So as you see, even the hopeless romantic has now fallen prey to today's propaganda that makes women play the dating game like a degenerate gambler, always looking for that little bit extra until eventually they will lose it all ghastly frigging apps have you even any idea how ridiculously horrible they are and keep telling each other that they are simply perfect as is and that no change is needed at all attract whatever you want and whoever you want just by being you activate your inner goddess your goddess energy i want a man that is going to provide for me that's going to treat me like a princess that's going to be loyal you don't have high standards you just haven't met someone yet who is willing to put in the time and effort to meet your standards so i know that i am worth more and that i deserve more and the thing is is like i am incredibly giving and kind and loyal and sweet and funny and i'm emotionally intelligent step into your goddess energy goddess mentality was working out great when they were in their early 20s having every single guy drop to their knees to please them however as they get older and their list of demands gets longer the guys that meet all of those requirements are not only having many more options to choose from but they are starting to ask themselves what do these older women now offer other than a smile and a long list of demands tonight was the first official date with i'm gonna call him superman well that didn't age well <laughs> i think i've been ghosted um day three I wouldn't sleep with him I actually asked him if he was emotionally available to which he replied no I don't think I am and well it sort of downward spiraled from there I assumed that we were exclusive but I asked him if he was talking to anyone else or seeing anyone else and he said well am I going on dates no but I'm talking to other women and I was like shocked absolutely shocked and probably really brokenhearted because I probably could have like things could have gone great. But she really bought into the goddess mentality that she would be the center of his universe and that dating as a woman in your 30s and 40s would be so much fun. So much fun. Life has been more fulfilling for me since my mid 30s than it ever was before that. So just know that your best years are ahead of you and you are never too old and it's never too late. This is probably the loneliest I've ever felt in my life. And I'm in therapy and I'm in a codependency group. I'm so done. You have so much leverage and so many options, I can't even tell you. When the check came, he asked me for $6. Definitely think that I will stay alone forever. My God. Jesus Christ. Are we not opening doors anymore? Are we not doing that? Never used a dating app in your life? Well, the good news is you're about to have so much fun. Dating is actually super fun after divorce. 
Now do you see what I mean? The Delulu, like literally delusional some of these women are. And the only thing that we can really do to um, try to help fix this problem is tell women the truth. This lie that's been perpetuated has got to be ended because it is not true and it's, and it's leading to some real suffering on these women's part. And uh, I mean, look, what do all these women have in common? Every one of these women that we've that we've seen on this uh, on the show today, what do they all have in common? I'm gonna tell you, all of them have been lied to and indoctrinated by friends and and social media and, and whatever else to where they started to believe these the bullshit lies, the propaganda that consumerism spread and and other women spread. <laughs> What's the other thing they have in common? Every single one of them has extreme, drastically overestimated their sexual market value. Drastically. We're talking, these are sixes, 6.5s 6 at the best, some of them, that think they're tens. And they think they deserve the best, highest class of man that the planet has to offer and when the reality is they should take an average man from a warehouse and if he's loving and respectful that's what you you should you should cuff him and you should be grateful that you found somebody that loves and respects you for who you are an average dude average to a little bit above average you ladies don't don't ha get to have it all. You don't get if you're average. You don't get the best looking man in the world. You don't get the best uh, the, the the richest man in the world. The best life has to offer. Why do you guys? Wh where does this entitlement come from? To where you guys think that you deserve the world for existing? If you guys found this message helpful, uh, please pass it on to somebody that could use it. Subscribe to the channel because it is getting bad. It's getting ridiculous out here, you guys. Totally ridiculous. I uh, appreciate anybody that tuned in. And uh, I appreciate JDB Capital uh, for putting together this video. Um, I'm sure he, he did a lot of work to uh, compile all these videos and stuff. And I really appreciate it. I don't like using other people's videos like that in my content, but it was just so good. And he hits the nail right on the head, man, with the problem that is modern dating nowadays.